IHTN Studios, it's Braves Beat. Hello everyone and welcome to the second episode of Braves Beat. So Teddy, how are your classes going so far? They're going great, Griff. How about yours? Well, Braves Beat sure is a lot of fun, but the others are going well too. Yeah, I'm enjoying Braves Beat as well and we have a good looking team this semester. Check them out. What a team. Now let's get into the news. Are you curious about engineering? Have you ever wanted to go behind the scenes of a large corporation? Do you wonder what career options are out there? If so, then consider joining the General Electric Engineering Pro Explorers program. Fall sports are in full swing now. Here's Sailor with a complete rundown. Welcome back Braves. I'm Sailor Betts with the first sports report of the fall season. School may have just started, but the boys' soccer team is already busy, taking down McNick, the team that eliminated the Braves from the state playoff last year, and their season opener this past Friday night, 4-0. Be sure to come out and support the team in their away game tomorrow night at Carroll High School. JV starts at 5.30 and varsity starts at 7.15. As for the boys' golf team, multiple individuals earned medals this past week as Team Red improved to 5-1 and, and Team Black remains undefeated. Great work, Braves! The football season can't seem to get here fast enough, so for all those counting down, remember that the Dogmen open up their season next Friday at New Richmond High School. Girls Soccer defeated Bishop Fenwick in an away matchup Monday night. It's game day tomorrow, so come out and support the varsity team in their game at Highlands at 5.30. As for the field hockey team, they face St. Ursula Academy tomorrow afternoon in a much-anticipated away matchup that you won't want to miss. JV starts at 1 and varsity starts at 3.30. As the preseason number one ranked team in Ohio, the varsity girls tennis team is looking strong after improving their record to 3-1 and one this past Saturday. Great work, Lady Braves. And finally, our cross-country teams leave for Cedar Point this afternoon, so be sure to wish all of the runners good luck in their upcoming events if you see them in the halls. Support your fellow Braves and stay spirited, Indian Hill. That's all for me this week. Back to you guys at the news desk. Thanks, Sailor. Let's get out there and cheer on our Braves. Are you interested in being a legend maker? Stop into room 114 and see Ms. Malico for more information about being part of the 2020 yearbook staff. As you know, we have a few new staff members who've joined our school this year, and our reporter Dylan had the chance to interview them. Let's check it out. How are you liking the Indian Hill students? They're good. Oh, they're great. You know, they're, uh, they're, they're very athletic here at Indian Hill. Uh, as I know, I've coached baseball here for a long time. Oh, the students are great. Oh, goodness gracious. Indian Hill students are Fantastic. Any dislikes at all? Nope, it's all good. Oh no, never. Everyone is uh, listening great. Oh, I think they're all great. Um, no problems at all. Except Preston. How is this class different from previous years? I would just say mainly I'm, uh, I'm pretty upbeat and I have a lot of energy, so uh, just always moving. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't like uh, a lot of sitting or uh, just not doing anything. I like you guys to really learn about what, uh, what job I taught sophomores, journalism, screenwriting, and film studies, so everything is in a sense new to me, but I've been doing the concepts forever, but mm -hmm. the ages are a little bit different and a few of the texts are different. You know what, we, I'm doing a lot of hands-on and we are learning a lot of um, life lessons. Well, at my old school it was double the kids, so I'm excited to be here because my I won't have as many students. Teaching's teaching. Thanks, Dylan. Please be sure to give a warm welcome to all of our new staff. Special shout out to Monty Singh, who is the recipient of the President's Gold Volunteer Service Award. She was recognized for her work with the American Red Cross in addition to setting up the Red Cross Club for her fellow Braves to join. Singh also serves as American Red Cross National Youth Council Ambassador for Ohio Region. Congratulations, Monty. It's that time of the year, folks. Next week is Spirit Week. Let's check out what the themes are for each day. So get your theme gear together and make Spirit Week the best ever. 
So have you all downloaded the Superfan app for Indian Hill? The goal is to increase participation for all events and include all students. The more events and games you go to, the more points you can get when you check in. These points can be used for rewards like free food and Braves Line merchandise. If you haven't downloaded the app, search for Superfan on the Apple or Android App Store and join the fun and support our Braves. Well, that is all of the news we have for this week. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. And remember, Braves, send us your ideas and program suggestions at officialbravesbeat at gmail.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our official Braves Beat YouTube channel to get all of our uploaded videos. Have a great weekend, Braves, and as always, stay, stay classy, classy, Indian, Indian Hill. Do you, um, do you know what concert only costs 45 cents? What? What concert only costs 45 cents? No. 50 no. Cent featuring Nickelback. <laughs> Why'd Eminem knock it on the bus? <laughs> Why? <laughs> didn't have 50 Cent with him. <laughs> I didn't know that picked up. <laughs> what do you call a beehive with no exits? Un... Believable. That's stupid. <laughs> You're stupid. That one. Come on. <laughs> Did you hear the rumor about butter? I'm not gonna spread it. <laughs> <laughs> if you dream of an ocean filled with orange soda. What's it called? A really big can of Fanta. A Fanta? See? <laughs> I think that's good, man. <laughs>